bid day analysis and invitation a bit. In the invitation, uh, what you can do here is you have a list of all your subcontractors. What I did was I searched for just my concrete subcontractors. Now with ProEst, you could search by city, zip code, state, uh, or trade as I've done. So once we have our trades here, we simply click on invite and we click send. And what it did was it sent an email invite to these subcontractors. A couple of these subcontractors are tied to my email. So I'm gonna bring over my email. I wanna show you what happened here. So with these subcontractors, they get an email and you'll see both of them came over to me. So it gives you the detailed information about the bid. Now the subcontractors can click bidding or not bidding. If they do select not bidding, it's gonna give them a response that they've recorded a response that we're not bidding this job. If they are bidding the job, they could simply come in and click on bidding and it's gonna log them into ProEst. So if the subcontractor does not have an account with ProEst, they could sign up for a free account. I have an account for this email, so I'm gonna just type it in here. And I'm gonna enter in. So with the subcontractors, they have three tabs. They have a documents tab. Any documents that you've made public, the subcontractor will be able to see. They have full takeoff capability. Now ProEst, as a subcontractor, they sign in as a free user. They do not have a database. So they can come in and do area length and counts. They have full capability of the takeoff software. I'm gonna do an area here. And they can name these whatever they like. This could say slab, piers, footings, whatever they like. They simply can come in and do digital takeoffs. And gather their numbers on the left side here. Once their numbers are gathered, they can come over to the bid day analysis side and they can come in and they can input bids. So for the flat work, uh, we're gonna bid say $20,000. You could put a note in here also. Permit not included. Uh, so they could just come down and they can put in their bids for the different aspects of the job that they're bidding. Once they've completed their bid, all they do is they click submit. It's gonna ask tell them, let them know that they're submitting the bid. Now the subcontractor does have the ability to change the due date and time uh, up to this due date and time, they could change, they can come in and change their bids. Um, let's go back over to our bid. So when I come back over to our bid, you'll see on the subcontractors, on the right side here, if it's in blue, the subcontractor has not done anything with the invite. If it's in red, the subcontractor has replied that he's not bidding. And if it's in green, they said they are bidding that project. Let's go over to the bid day tab. On the bid day tab, we'll see the subcontractor's numbers in here. We'll also see our numbers that we've posted. So we can come in over here and we can click select low bid. Now, if I had multiple subcontractors, it would select the subcontractor in each of these areas. If the subcontractor did not submit through ProEst and they just sent an email, you could simply click on add a sub. And I click save and you can go ahead and input their numbers. So the subcontractors, you'll notice that it just pop back and forth. The subcontractors will go from lowest to highest. Uh, you do also have the ability, if the subcontractors forgot something or they did not include something, you could use your number as a plug number just simply by clicking on the button here. If there are additional questions, please let us know. 800-255-7407. Thank you and have a great day.